CIT, the Center for Indigenous Theater, is a three-year training institute for Indigenous students. The students start from the beginning in year one, and each year of training builds off of the first year, and then the second year, and then third year. We also offer fourth year training to graduates, and that fourth year training is often built from um, creative energy juices that build up over the last three years. Uh, new plays are being written, video dramas are being created. CIT means inspiration. I see a lot of people come through the program who are at first very shy, and as they go through the terms and years, they become more and more solidified in who they will be as an Indigenous artist. When people come here from small communities, reservations, towns, cities, um, they are engulfed into a different world. I strongly believe that Toronto is its own world. What a CIT has let me do is uh, be in a situation, a place where there's a lot of things I don't have to think about, so I can think about the things I want to think about. And hearing the stories and working with the other students, the other Indigenous students. I have like 26 years of formal education, and there was never another Indigenous person in with, in, with me in any of those times. We are incredible people. We really are. And we have been holding ourselves to the standard of mediocrity that is the colonizer for a very, very long time now and we don't have to anymore. CIT is a place where I can like, I feel like I can really express myself like artistically. Um, I often feel like it's like an escape of mine because I feel like I can't really create the ways I can at CIT anywhere else. So I feel like it's really helped me just like bring out my creative side and like my voice as an artist. Here, they're, they kind of just make you do it and they just make you get into it like you don't really have a choice. So I've just, gotten used to it and I've gotten to really play around with it. While being here at CIT, I've learned to, you know, not be so closed off and you really do have to put yourself out there. Um, the teachers will literally force it out of you if you want to be, you know, scared or not want to do a scene, they will work with you and um, I think that's, that's what I would say uh, most that I've learned is just coming out of your uh, comfort zone and It'll only help you in the end. Expand your knowledge, expand your talents, you know, then take that leap of faith and, you know, give it a shot. Who knows? No matter what theater school you're in, it's, it's such hard work. There's lots of exploration, lots of investigation. There's a lot of self-exploration. Please come and check us out. We have so much to offer. There's a lot of Indigenous programming uh, happening in, in Ontario that we are part of and we welcome you to come and take part in those things with us. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do this work. Miigwech. Bonjour. Bidwa a gish go kwe dish nakaz megaze do dem. We are grateful to live and work and learn on this land and acknowledge the traditional caretakers of this land. The Huron-Wendat, the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Anishinaabe. Chimigwech caretakers, Chimigwech kakamekwe. Welcome to the CIT program info session. We are current students at the Center for Indigenous Theatre. Thanks for joining us. Today, we are going to answer all your questions about our school and how you can join our classes. Have you thought about pursuing a career in the arts? Please share your stories or any questions you may have in the comments below. We'll start with some of the history of CIT, show you what the program and school year may look like, as well as how to apply and get into the program. During our short time today, you will also get to view a clip from our last year show, our last year-end show, Crazy Dave Goes to Town, starring Pearl. We also got a feature of the post-show interviews, so stay tuned for those clips. Let's jump in with a little history lesson. CIT was founded by James Buller and was originally a six-week program called Native Theatre School. The Native Theatre School was then renamed Center for Indigenous Theatre in 1994. 
We then went on to become a full-time program in 1999. We expanded to a three-year program in 2002 and finally added a fourth year in 2018. If you're still wondering what we're all about, CIT is a post-secondary program that provides training in acting, voice, and movement. We, all, we offer cultural classes that are focused on dance, song, and oral history. We partner with communities and organizations across Canada that we will share different experiences with, experiences with throughout the year. Each year we plan land-based teachings with Dabaj Majek, storytellers in Antoine and Matogzi in Nipissing First Nation. Now it's time for a clip from Crazy Dave Goes to Town. What he didn't know is what happened earlier that day. He went to work at Jim Cook's just like every morning. Jim ran a garage and scrapyard. It was a dump. And David loved it. Who knew there was so much junk on Cape Crocker? Me. That was Jim Cook. And his place was full of boom key, blum, 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 gone, 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 gone. Crushed tin cans, pails with no handles, two beliefs, five, woo. Rusted broken wire, boilers, dented wash tubs, whoop, whoop, e nip, wash floors, bed frames, nay, ips, oops, nay, bitch, balls, springs, hoops with no barrels. That summer day of 44, Jim and David were just finishing up loading up the back of Jim's truck. Uh, David had been given a soldier's jacket by Buckahaw for doing his part for the war effort. And making himself a little mince worth of dimes. This disease, this disease, this disease. Helping turn the tide against the Nazis, the fascists, and the yellow peril. And helping save civilization. Key! Dave, come and give me a hand with this. Back to the program. Here's the outline of our current school year. Classes typically start in September. We begin with an orientation period of CIT in Toronto. Students are then enrolled into full-time training with a winter and spring break in between studies. That may leave you wondering what your class schedule might look like during the school year. Here's an example. Classes are typically in person, but maybe online in some cases. There are a variety of classes at CIT throughout the year, such as dance, voice, physical theater, singing, and story creation. You'll be on your feet and expect them to be actively participating in all classes. Although accommodations can always be made, you can address any access concerns or needs to your educators or staff. It's now time for a clip from our post-show interviews. Hello, my name is Kian Buffalo. Uh, I'm from Muscogee, Alberta, Urban Skin Cree Nation. Uh, I'm Nolan, Nolan Moberly. Uh, I am born and raised in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Um, and I just finished my first year heading on to Number two. That moment for me to come to CIT was definitely a risk of chance. Um, I didn't know what I was getting myself into for CIT. And um, if it wasn't for my good friend River to push me to come, I probably would never found out all the enjoyments and wonders about theater. I was living in Vancouver for two years. Uh, I had an agent there and I was doing lots of like film acting, things like that, booking gigs, um, but just doing video auditions all the time and not doing anything like in person, which is what I gotten used to before. I started like, cause I had just been acting just my whole life and like I moved to Vancouver just for that. Um, but the more I did it, it was like soul sucking. For that to be acting to me was just something that I couldn't, I was falling out of love with it. So I was like, I need to find theater again. The thing I actually really like about the school is that it it doesn't just grow you as a, as like a performance artist because there are other places and like the instructors themselves are here just to make you a better person and find out more about yourself inherently um, through the filter or lens of theater, which is a lot of fun. I recommend for a lot of people because it also helped me out open up a lot more and discover who I truly am as an artist. Did we inspire you to want to apply? Let us know in the comments. Wondering what requirements are needed to apply to Center for Indigenous Theatre? You must identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit. You must be 18 years of age or older. You need a grade 10 English level or higher. Have an interest in acting, movement, voice, self-discovery, and theatre, as well as an interest in exploring Indigenous culture and knowledge. Now that we've gone over requirements, here are important documents that you must submit when applying to the Center for Indigenous Theatre. 
They include an updated resume, a 500-word essay expressing your interest in theater and coming to CIT, two references that can vouch for your interest in theater, a photocopy of your health card, and an audition video of you doing some script work. To help you out with your audition, we've created a how-to video. Take a look. Hi, I'm Sam Twin. I'm a fourth year student here at Center for Indigenous Theater. Hi, I'm Teresa Cutknife, and I'm also a fourth year student at the Center for Indigenous Theater. Uh, we'll give you some tips and tricks on uh, how to do your monologues and get them sent into CIT. Yes, so first find an age appropriate monologue for yourself. Uh, use something from the Indigenous canon, uh, something like from Thompson Highway, Drew Hayden Taylor, uh, Kenneth T. Williams. Do you have any more? Keith Barker, Alanis King, and if you have any troubles finding anything like that, you could email CIT and we'll provide you with a monologue. So Sam, what did you do for your um, audition into CIT? I did uh, Ivic from Thunderstick by uh, Kenneth Williams. What about you? What did you do? I was sent a collection of different uh, story pieces from Coyote City. What to wear, uh, wear something simple, neutral colors, something that you're comfortable and confident in. Yep, and you know, it does, there's not really a time limit for it, but uh, it should be around three minutes. If you have any other skills that you wanna show, like singing, dancing, hand drumming, anything and everything, feel free to submit it, but you do have to have a monologue. Unless, of course, you're a storyteller and you have a story, uh, then you could submit that instead of the monologue, but no accents, please. And the most important thing is to have fun. And if you stumble, that's okay. Yep. You can do it over and over as many times as you feel. Have any other difficulties like doing your, your monologue or audition? Uh, probably the hardest part was memorizing it all, and uh, I had somebody film it for me. I did not know that it was best to film it with a neutral background, so I filmed it just in a living room and there was a lot of uh, things in the background, but it worked out. And you don't need a professional camera. Uh, we're doing this on an iPhone 10. You can stack it up on some books or put it on a table, whatever you gotta do. As long as it's capturing basically from half of your torso up so we can see your shoulders and your head. You can have a, a relative or somebody hold the camera for you and you can just send that into CIT. Have fun. There are ongoing requirements in order to remain in the program. Curious on what it takes to be a CIT graduate? You are expected to be on time and present for all classes and you must be actively be looking for funding while you attend your studies. Tuition costs each year are $3,750. Before you go, we would like to mention that there are alternative funding options if you are unable to receive financial support from your band. There are other organizations that you could submit to, so you could submit applications to for funding. These include, but are not limited to, Inspire Foundation, Dreamcatcher Charitable Foundation, Métis Nation of Ontario, Canada Post, Mississaugas of the Credit, and other local organizations. If you are in need of funding application assistance, contact us at the Centre for Indigenous Theatre. We are accepting applications to our full-time program as well as summer intensive now. Reminder, no student has ever been turned away due to lack of funding. Please make sure to follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook to stay updated on CIT news and updates. Also check out our new website at indigenoustheater.com. We would also like to thank our funders. With their generous support, we were able to provide school for our students. The Department of Canadian Heritage, the Ontario Arts Council, the Toronto Arts Council, Ms. Way Beak, Aboriginal Employment and Training, Hastings Park Foundation of Rights and Freedoms, McLean Smith's Fa Family Foundation, and the Ontario Arts Foundation. Thank you for attending CIT's program info session. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and we will get back to you. See you soon. soon.